In this video, we'll demonstrate different functions that DDSCAD has to insert uh, documentation to the model. Uh, in, the, in the electrical toolbox, I will first show uh, the function cable, cable path level. In the dialog, you see here some information that we can add from the model, such as the distribution board reference, the cable ID, the cable type, circuit ID, number of course, dimension, placing, and the conduit type and size. Okay? In this case, I'll just show the distribution board reference, the circuit ID, and also the, the conduit size when the, the cable is insulated by a, con by a conduit. Okay? In this case, I will move to this uh, cable here uh, for the circuit DB09, for the circuit 9, and it displays the, the, the distribution board, the circuit number, and the, 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 the size of the conduit. I will insert the same function also for this, um, for this cable here, um, for, for the sockets in the circuit 3, and also I will insert in the, in the ladder, okay? Of course, if we had more circuits running to the ladder or to the conduit, this list would show all the circuits that belong to this, to this component. Else, what I will show now is the part text function. Since these light features already have some part text, I will double click uh, one text like this one. And we can see here these preset configurations. The selected one is the switchboard uh, dot circuit. If we right mouse click, we have the possibility to copy, delete and configure. I have pre preset this power circuit and return. If we right mouse click, I will click on the configure just to show what I have added to this preset uh, part text. I have added the output. Um, I also inserted the circuit name uh, in a new line, so it will be, be shown in a, in, a, in a new line, and also the group indicator in the same line as the last circuit name. Okay. Oh, so we have here number of tubes, output, circuit name, and the group indicator. Now click OK, and what else we can insert for uh, this part text is a frame border. Depending on the region you live, different types of tags are allowed. So doesn't matter the region, I will just show something nice here. Okay, so I will make use of this splitted circle and I will click OK. And if we see here, we have the information about the light feature in the top and here on the left we have the circuit number and we have a blank for the group indicator. What we can do, because I have just um, changed one part text, I can right mouse click one part text selected and make use of the option copy part text properties. So I just click the others and they will assume the same um, configuration. Okay. Um, what I would do now is to insert a the group indicator for these light features. We use the function group indicator. Let's uh, presume or assume that these light features uh, on the left are from uh, the gang no, uh, letter A. So click OK and then just click on the on the light features. Now press Enter and now I will change to B and append option and then I will add to this line on the right. Okay, so it's it's quite nice. What else we can also insert just to show you that uh, how we insert part text to other type of components. Um, we could show here for for this ladder. I would like to insert a part text by uh, the filling grade of the cable. We select the object and then we come to the function part text. And then we also have some configurations here. I will right mouse click and I will copy this configuration and I will type I will type the description 
feeling great. Right mouse click, configure, and then I will deactivate all these port text, and I will only activate the user cable place. Okay, then I move here the information, and it shows me that it has 3% used. 